Welcome to The One Who Seeks, where you are the one who seeks. My name is Tara. I am your intuitive tarot reader. I use tarot as a tool to open up the channels of your intuition. By tapping into your unawakened subconscious, you will answer the questions that you seek. I am not a psychic, although it may seem like it sometimes. Take what resonates and leave the rest. Always remember, the freedom of choice is your power. Only you can make it happen with your actions. What are you seeking? Hello, soul family. Welcome to the one who seeks, where you are the one who seeks. All right, I'm gonna try and get a quick in here. All right, we're gonna spray some pure love. If, it, if the sprayer works. Yeah, it doesn't. <laughs> So, we're going to dab some pure love. Okay. And there's a huge fire, 3,500 acres burning in Oroville, California right now, which is really close to where I am. Uh, I feel like we're pretty safe right now. Um, but I am praying for everybody's safety, all the animals, the pets, the people, the houses, the businesses. Okay, so this one's for you. Pray for your safety. Topsy turvy here. Oh man. Okay. Whew. All right. So let's see what we got going on today. All right. We're going to pick a topic. really sluggish today. I think it's just all the stress from this fire that's going on. I've got uh, my second mother, Kathy and John, they um, live pretty close to the fire and they actually let us stay on their property after the Paradise Fire, um, November 8th, 2018. So I've been worried about them and then it, you know, the winds can shift at any time and be here in paradise so yeah I did um, get my things together yesterday you know, everybody thinks I'm crazy because um, I don't understand that I've already been through it and how quickly things were moving and people were saying that oh the fire's not here it's in Concow there's no way it's here now and and it was it was right there um, in our yard so yeah to all of those who think that um, I'm just being hyper vigilant and totally crazy about it I'm not okay so protect yourselves get out as quickly as you can don't stick around for anything uh, I know it's really hard you know some people don't have other places to go um, so it, it's hard, but I wouldn't stick around and uh, trying to save your place and it, is not really the best idea, you know, <sighs> unless you just don't care about your life at all. Um, so anyway, that's my little tangent. Let's get into the reading and see what our, our topic is today. Uh, I would like to invite in the angels of loving nature. For this collective reading to protect us and guide us for our highest good and for the good of others let me be a clear and open channel for the messages coming through today 
thank you. And amen. All right, we have lightning. Control your anger or you will be sorry. Rainbow. The most difficult part of a situation is over. Wealth. Claw. Be careful. Do not take risks. Butterfly. A change for the better. And we have May. I'll show you that. Okay. So I definitely feel like there's some sort of transformation going on here. Um, yeah, I was just talking about the fire and this kind of reminds me here of the lightning, like if a lightning strike, it starts fires. Um, and then with me letting you know not to stick around and take the risk to be careful, right? So um, with the butterfly and the rainbow here, um, I think there's gonna be a lot of transformation going on for the better. Okay, and you may be angry about this, but Later on in, in life, it may not be anytime soon, but it could be years from now, you will appreciate the struggle that you went through. Okay, we have Seven of Wands, Page of Pentacles, the Star, and the Five of Wands. Okay. Yeah, man. So my energy is so low today. I'm telling you, the stress is freaking killing me. So much worry and anxiety. Okay, and here we have like worry and anxiety fighting for something, right? But we also have abundance here in the star card, which is wishes granted. And then the Five of Wands, it looks like they're celebrating in this one. Um, normally it's about fighting as well and competition, but here it almost looks like they're celebrating and they're just raising their wands in hooray. Right, so I feel like the fight is over for you and um, this is going to turn into something very beneficial. Mm -hmm. The Empress, all knowing. This is the Hanged Man and he's actually in reverse. So we're just gonna leave him that way. This one's in reverse too. Yeah, and basically. Depends on how I turn the card, right? And normally I don't do reversals, but I'm going to do them. Pull these up. Right, and then, I don't know what made me do this, but there's this gap in the middle here. Some sort of bridge that you need to cross. Maybe it's the rainbow bridge here. And the Empress is kind of all knowing, doesn't really say much because uh, it's about your intuition and feeling it. Words don't need to be said. Um, it's like me, I was just thinking about this earlier too. I'm very, I've always been very visually charged. Like I'm not really big into words. I don't like a lot of words. And you know, they say that, um, a picture 
is a thousand words. Right, so I can say more with one image than I can if I were to express myself. And with this hanged man here, I think you're seeing things in another way. I, I see like uh, Pisces energy here. With the two fish. And you're kind of just kicked back here. You're relaxing. It almost looks like you're just relaxing up against this tree um, or beam. It could just be a beam. It looks like it's some sort of a, a pergola or something. So maybe you are relaxing in your home in like your backyard and you are watching the clouds go by. It almost looks like that's a fish there too, that cloud. And then we have the Ten of Pentacles, which is about family and uh, like ancestry, right? Um, although it did pull it out in reverse. So maybe there's like a lack of family. Not really sure I'd have to get some clarification on that maybe I'll read the uh, other oh, is a book I have to go on the computer to see what her meaning is uh, this is soulful revolution the souls on fire deck um, which doesn't come with a book but she does have the meanings on her web page And then we have the Seven of Pentacles, which is about like sowing your seeds and being patient and waiting for them to grow so that you have this abundance, right? So you're also right here is about being patient. about this Ten of Pentacles in reverse. Okay, I still see that one. See, all these cards are like upside down. I just, I'm pulling them upside down for some reason and I don't like to do reversals. We have Five of Pentacles, we have Four of Pentacles, and we have the Queen of Cups. So I feel like you need a little bit of help Maybe from, um, you know, like your buddies, your girlfriend, your boyfriend, whatever, um, you know, same sex, just a platonic relationship, not meaning like a relationship like sexually. Uh, I feel like you need some help from your friends here because maybe you don't have any family and you feel a little out of control here with your finances in this big city to where now you're sitting on like a cardboard box and you're worried about becoming homeless. All right, and the Queen of Cups, so this is your emotions and she's pretty in control of her emotions if she was upright and I feel like your emotions are out of control right now. devil. Ace of Pentacles. Are these even in here? I'm still out of the picture here. Alright, and I got three here. I don't really want three, but we're going to take it. Okay, we have the Page of Wands and the Four of Wands. Okay, and then our bonus card um, is the Temperance. And I did kind of pull that upside down too. I don't know why I keep doing it like that. <laughs> so, there's something that's keeping you shackled here. And I feel like you are really hoping for a love relationship to come through. And you're kind of, you're just waiting 
for this person. And here we have the Four of Wands, which is a marriage card. Okay, and since we do have the two women here as well, maybe this is a, um, a like a lesbian or a gay relationship. It doesn't necessarily have to be. But you are waiting for this person to come through. Okay, and I feel like with the temperance, yeah, it's like somebody who has a temper when they're upside down. Right, so you're not able to kind of control your emotions that have to do with this. Um, it's really driving this gap here. some sort of danger that's present that you know of, right? It could be physically or emotionally. That you feel in your gut. And you don't see abundance is coming and that you just need to relax and stop stressing yourself out and being angry about this okay you kind of you just need to relax and um, enjoy maybe some travel The star card is also um, Pisces energy. So I do feel a lot of emotions. I'm feeling like maybe you're, you're feeling a little bit of, um, like in a, a victimhood, like you're being attacked. Um, you're not getting what you're asking for. Um, even though the universe is working in the background for you, but you, you want this family and I feel like you feel like you're not getting your wish granted and you just need to kind of chill out and check out the, the notches on this wand here of how far you've come since the beginning, right? And just have gratitude for what it is that you have now, that you already have. Okay, and the outcome is about getting this wish granted and finding that person who is your twin flame who is coming in. But you have to plant the seeds first. Right? So the garden is growing and it's going to be coming. You just need to relax, do a little bit of traveling, have gratitude. Okay? And all this will come and you will be celebrating and you will have a good stable foundation. Right, so all this worry over here, this is all worry over here. This is worry and anger. That's not helping you. Okay, it's just creating this, this channel, this gap. But lightning is going to strike at any moment and this rainbow is going to appear. The 
The most difficult part of the situation is over. Right? Control your anger or you'll be sorry. Your anger over here, your temperance. All right, so this is going to happen by May. You're going to have a lot of wealth and abundance. All right, do so not take risk and uh, a change for the better. You're growing, you're manifesting, you're um, you're transforming. You're going to start to fly. Right now, you're a caterpillar. And you're thinking, my God, why can't I get anywhere, right? It's taking so long to get anywhere because you've got all these little legs, tons of little legs, but you can only get so far in a day, right? So it's baby steps, one step at a time. If you sit and relax and you cocoon yourself up, you're going to start to grow into this beautiful butterfly and you're going to be able to fly away. Okay. You're going to be able to travel distances. All right. So this is a Halloween Oracle. And um, I was really drawn to this. I really like this deck. <laughs> you know, I feel like I should only use it in October during Halloween. Um, but that's not really fair, right? <laughs> and the uh, reading I did yesterday, um, the timing card was October. So I kind of felt drawn to it. So maybe you want to go back to uh, yesterday's reading and um, check that out. Trick or treat, mischief and play. Feels like there's two there. It's just really thick. All right, so go out and have fun. Go play, trick or treat, find your treats. This is not a trick. Um, yeah, it could be a little scary, but it's all an illusion. Ghosts, they're all coming out upside down. Regret. Okay. Maybe you have regret because of this anger that you've had regret from something in the past. Uh, it looks like that you are in this um, kind of, I don't want to say castle, but it's just a house. It's like, like a Victorian house. Uh, I feel like you are a ghost living in this house. And it's like, you know, when ghosts get stuck on this earth, it's because they have some unfinished business. Right, I just literally watched this movie Ghost, <laughs> you know, from, from the eighties with Patrick Swayze and Demi Moore the other day with my husband. And um, there was some unfinished business and he stuck around to, to save his wife. Right, so I feel like you just need to keep going. Um, don't give up. Okay. This person will find you or you will find them. They might even come in knocking at your door. Okay. And you're going to scare them just as much as you're going to scare them or they're going to scare you just as much as you're going to scare them. I don't know if I said that right. <laughs> so. Death. The eternal cycle begins here. Okay, and then we have this, uh, like, a moth here, which is very similar to the butterfly, right? Death is about endings and new beginnings. Okay, and we have this full moon, 
where we're releasing our fears, our anxiety, our temperance, okay, our anger. Dawn, the light after the darkness. Here we go. See? You've died. Now it's the dawn of the day. Okay, mm -hmm. mm. things are looking up. Things are going to get better. Once again, we have this full moon again. We've transformed from this moth into um this looks like an owl okay and an owl represents death and new beginnings okay so it might be really dark right now in your world but it's going to come to light this lightning is going to strike and it is going to shine this beautiful rainbow. Okay, once again, I feel like we've got travel going on here. We've got some land. Okay, and you need to get out of this house, get out of the that stuck feeling of being this ghost or like a hermit in a home. You need to get out and explore and spread your wings. Because you're not going to find this other person unless you get out of this energy, for one, and get out of your house. Ground yourself. Go put your hands in the dirt. Go plant some seeds. Plant some new seeds. Have some gratitude and affirmations. Okay, that is our reading for today. I thank you for being here. I'm trying to make these quicker. Um, yeah, I have a lot of, uh, I wanna say, complaints about how long some of my readings are and they, people don't have the time or don't wanna sit there and watch them for an hour to an hour and a half. So I'm trying to make them quicker. Um, and maybe I will start doing like some extendeds from here so that we get more information and uh, you can watch these shorter videos. Okay, so thank you for being here with me. Uh, I love you all. Be safe out there. If you're, you're in a fire situation, don't wait. Please don't wait. Fly. Fly away. Okay? Start traveling. Get somewhere else. All right. I love you all. Take care. I want to thank you and our angels for being present for the messages that have come through in this reading. If you found this to be helpful, please like and share this content so others can benefit as well. Seek the subscribe button and don't forget to get notifications so you never miss a reading. The more love you share, the more love you receive. And you can find more love right here in these other videos. For more information about this channel, personal readings, swag, and donations, check the links in the description box.